Well, it's a huge privilege to have the beautiful actress with us. She she made her debut opposite superstar Salman Khan. From V to H Story Three, she has performed exceptionally well. She has 13 million fans on Facebook, 8.8 million fans on Instagram, and now I would say she is gaining amazing subscribers on YouTube. I am talking about none other than Zarin Khan. Zarin, welcome to Bo- Bollywood Life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Ah, uh, let me tell you, Zarin. Even there is lockdown happening. You were continuously working, and now we can see you, your work on YouTube. Even though we are not <laughs> seeing you on big screen, but you are there on small screen. You are way too active. Tell us more about it. About your YouTube ah, channel. Well, uh, you know, uh, lock, um, YouTube was an idea suggested to me by my friends since a very long time, but. Um, um i never took them seriously they always told me that you know you should have a youtube channel and you know your fans should know uh, how you are as a person and that's only going to happen by a channel and this and that but i'm very technologically challenged so i was like yeah 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 i'll do it so it was there at the back of the head but it never came in the forefront because you know i was busy with all the work and everything but then lockdown happened and then there was really nothing to do and um, you know uh, i thought that uh, this is the best time uh, to launch my youtube channel because that's going to be a medium as to how i will connect with my fans and they will still be in touch with me and get to know what i'm doing and what not so yeah i mean that was the start of my youtube channel then within 3 months only you have gained a silver button <laughs> really amazing great to I see i mean thanks to my fans yeah they they just so sweet i mean you know I read each and every comment, and um, uh, you know they just write such nice things, and it it feels nice to have all their love and support. Great to see this amazing craziness about your YouTube channel because it hardly happens that within three months, if someone can get, gain hundred k subscribers, and you really <laughs> did well, and Thank you're you. doing a great job. Yeah. so uh, also if we can talk about your ex- upcoming flick uh, hum bhi akele tum bhi akele when can we yeah. expect this release soon well honestly even i am uh, waiting uh, it's been a long wait because um, the film was supposed to release in march but then lockdown happened and then you know all the plans just went haywire then we've been trying to get a digital release now but uh, because all the big films are now slated to release on the ott so of course the bigger films are going to get their slots first and uh, we have to wait so we are waiting and uh, let's see when when we get a slot but uh, we are hopeful soon uh, i think um, the last i got to know from the makers or is that we've gotten something in september but still there's been no confirmation so yeah i mean it's it's what do you do we we have to wait our film is not that big with that big uh, stars that you know the ott is going to give us a slot in the beginning right so i mean uh, these days we are seeing that most of the releases are happening in ott platform only so what would be your pick is it a big screen or ott platform well um, you know getting your film released on the big screen is of course the dream of every actor um, you know because that is what cinema has been all about but uh, i'm not going to take anything away from the ott platform because it is all thanks to the ott platform now that you know uh, entertainment is still on because in this lockdown from the time i mean from march till now we're in august um no shoots have happened no films could be could have been made theaters and everything is shut you know the whole form of entertainment or entertainment has uh, and there's been a full stop on it but only thanks to ott that you know uh, people can sit in the comfort of their house in all their safety and still be able to you know be entertained so uh, uh i think ott is is the new thing now i mean it's the new age thing and i think it, it's great because it's it's connecting you to fans all over i mean most of the time people you know don't come to the theaters or they they, they like watching films at home and they wait for the films to come on their tv 
but this is nice that you know now the films are releasing on ott platforms itself that's great to hear that but um, i mean what about you most of the time you spend on what i mean watching movies on ott platform well um, not really i mean i i am just i mean you know where my day goes i don't really realize because i'm not really making a conscious effort to pass time or kill time by doing this or doing that my day just goes by like you know i i wake up aram se and then um, i do my training i do a little bit of my uh, workouts and stuff after that um, uh, you know i have these uh, it's great that i have incoming scripts so that you know i i get busy reading that um there are uh, you know now i have my digital my own digital platform uh, in the form of youtube so i have to give it that time as well so i i have my discussions going on with my my digital team so my day is you know it just goes by without me really getting an opportunity to watch um you know binge watch or something on the ott but yeah i mean you know once in a while i like watching the reruns of my favorite uh, sitcoms and yes right. if there's something really interesting or a new film has come out where my friends have already seen it and then they give me reviews then then according to that i i watch the film or the show oh, that's great to hear this and also there are a lot of questions popping up uh, i'll project one question in front of you so okay. indranil is asking what was the hidden interest hobby that zarin found out during during this lockdown Mm, well you know i i tried my hand at cooking can i call it cooking i don't know i I'm, 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 i'm not i don't know how to cook and uh, you know there there's been a, there've been a few recipes that i have tried in this lockdown i've even made uh, videos of it on my youtube so i would say that skill i discovered that though i would still i'm not very good at cooking yet <laughs> <laughs> but at least you have done something on this lockdown but it will be beneficial for you definitely <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah uh, now i can make something for my own self to eat <laughs> absolutely so uh, let's talk about your fitness how do you keep yourself fit on this lockdown well in the beginning it was it just Uh, the whole workout and everything went out of the window because you know the sleep cycle had gone haywire i was sleeping in the morning and then waking up late in the afternoon and all this so no real workout was happening but now since a few weeks i have uh, uh, you know tried to get back on tra- track and try to correct my sleep cycle and all of that so i do different exercises every day i i cannot do the same exercise every day because i get very bored and once i get bored then there's no coming back from that so um, luckily i have a, a very compact gym in my own building so you know sometimes i go and do my treadmill there um if you see i have a cycle in the background so uh, um, i cycle as well though i have not been captured yet because i go at hours where you know there's not much people on the road and stuff like that so i can freely ride my cycle um then um um uh, i do yoga at home uh then there are i i keep mixing it up you know i started my uh, kickboxing in my martial arts again so it's 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 a whole okay. mixed bag like of uh, workouts the whole point is just that you know a person should at least spend 30 minutes to an hour in a day dedicating it to their body doing any form of activity possible it can be walking it can be dancing it can be cycling it can be you it can be just anything but just do an activity for 30 to 30 minutes to an hour a day for yourself for your fitness for your well being right so many of them are not getting an opportunity to work out because because of this lockdown and gyms have been closed so yeah no, i mean no, many no, of the no 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 that is an excuse mm-hmm. gyms are being closed down it's okay but then and there are so many things that you can do in your house yeah you can that is what, that is for that. that you can do free hand exercises but these things no that oh lockdown ho gaya to exercise nahi karna extra lazy person i know that so i also gave those in the beginning <laughs> right you know that is the only thing so if you if 
you you would like to suggest them anything if there is no workout as such, they are not getting chance to go at gym what would you suggest them that is what my question is all about there is no need to go to the gym i mean the you can do yoga in your house surya namaskars is the best thing it it takes care of the entire body works out the entire body and plus if you do a lot of reps together it's a great form of cardio uh next is you know uh, you know in in your building we obviously have stairs right so do walk stairs up and down for 30 to 30 minutes to 45 minutes that is an amazing form of workout um then you know right now we have we are living in a digital world we have ex- access to every possible you know digital uh, platform youtube has so many workout videos go look for a workout video that you know workout that you can do in in your house get a mat and do it in your house so there is there's no excuse if you actually want to work out and stay fit and exercise hmm. there's no excuse there is one more thing uh, which i would lo- like to talk about your health wise we have seen your amazing transformation journey okay and it is it's like it's like you know it's you're like an inspiration to most of them so would you like to share about your weight loss journey and diet plans and everything would you like to uh, suggest to our fans wow. you know uh, i don't know how many of you know about it but uh, there was a point in my life where i was more than 100 kg of weight that was in college um and uh, my food only consisted of junk and no exercise of course and uh, i did not even realize when when i crossed 100 kg <laughs> i i never checked my weight and i did not ever feel physically unfit where you know i'm not being able to do a certain thing or whatever in that weight also i was all over the place like i was climbing trees and i was doing everything you know so i never f- felt my weight as a burden or something that is stopping me from doing things but you know certain things happened in my life uh due to which i had to start working and i have a very limited uh, educational qualification that is uh, 12th standard i could not continue uh, my studies after that due to personal uh, you know reasons so um, the you know best paying job i could think of that time was that of an air hostess but then nobody hires a 100 kg air hostess you know so <laughs> the weight loss journey started from there um first it only started with the point of view that okay i need to lose weight to get this job because this interview is coming in like three months time or four months time and i have only that much time to lose all this weight from my body so it started with that as a motive but then when i when i started on the journey of losing weight i started feeling very nice about myself i started feeling light i started feeling uh, you know energized and then i even started i i am a i'm a avid reader i like you know researching about everything before i do it and all of those things i realized that i come from a background like a family history of diabetes heart problems high blood pressure and all those things which is indirectly directly related to weight so i realized that if i am not going to you know control my weight or rather start living a healthy lifestyle i'm going to you know fall prey to these illnesses very early in my life which i don't want you know so then a journey which has started you know that i want to lose weight to get a job it started for my health reasons that i'm like you know my mom is a diabetic a heart patient my nani has been that i don't want to be that so that whole fear that oh my god i need to save myself right from now i i started on the journey of you know this whole fitness thing and now it's just become a lifestyle i mean yes according to a lot of uh people in this industry i am not the person with a perfect figure or you know whatever you call it but i don't really care about that i care about being fit internally i a, a, a weighing scale cannot judge me uh, whether i am you know uh, uh, fine according to you know people standard i judge myself according to my fitness levels if i need to be fit fit internally R- right absolutely so uh, there is one thing like before lockdown uh, about bollywood it is totally different and now after like within this four month bollywood is different would you like to give an overview about it what overview can i give i mean i am 
like it's it's been almost it's been 10 years that i'm a part of this industry but i still don't know this industry in and out there is so much more to learn especially for somebody yeah. like me who does not belong from a you know filmy background and you know whose parents or whose generations have been in this um, film industry i am somebody who has dur dur tak no connection with the film industry so it becomes all the more difficult because you know there are a lot of people i don't know uh, you know it's it's i mean i don't even know how to say this but there are times when you know a very famous personality is standing in front of me but i don't know that person genuinely you know and uh, then later you know somebody or the other would tell me oh you know that person was that person and i'm like oh my god why didn't you tell me before at least i would have gone and greeted that person because you know it's always good to greet a person from the a senior person or person from the same fraternity so uh, yes i might sound a little ignorant right now but i i it's it's just it's i am not that well connected in this industry so that happens and then most of the times that's taken uh in a in a very wrong sense thinking that i am an arrogant person or that you know i did not walk up but genuinely i mean i am somebody who welcomes people and who will even give a smile to people i do you know don't know and this, you know if a person is smiling at me but uh, you know if i don't if this if things like that has happened has genuinely happened and i i don't know what to do about it so i Absolutely. i am still learning is the overview that i will give you about this industry no definitely but we consider you as a senior actor because you have been ruling the bollywood senior industry actor, <laughs> no seriously see 10 years is not so less it's like a decade more than a decade and you are doing yeah. pretty well at your side yes, well. <clears throat> right definitely so right now like uh, you are at home right now and within this lockdown you are not getting chance to uh, go outside it gives you a vibe sort of a big boss sort of a thing you know that you are at same place not doing anything i mean the activities will be ruling around with you but there is nothing happening so in case like uh, within a day or two uh, we have seen the promo of big boss as well okay What's and wow? in case yeah i mean a slight promo a teaser which has come out okay i i am hoping you are a fan of big boss because uh, uh, salman khan <laughs> Last season that came, I was following it very uh, religiously. Right. Other than the previous couple of seasons, I did not really watch it. <laughs> But uh, this this season was very interesting. Right. Absolutely. So in case like all of a sudden Salman Khan calls you up and gives you an offer for an opportunity to be a contestant of Big Boss, would you accept it? <laughs> no, I mean, offer to be a part of Big Boss and uh, not from Salman, but. Uh, from the makers or uh, people who maybe who, who cast for big boss i don't know how the procedure works but uh, i have been getting this since quite some years now and i have refused it i i i cannot i cannot yes right now it does feel like we are in you know an ongoing big boss but at least i am with my own people you know i know <laughs> there is going to be a limit to it and uh, even if things go over limit it's your own family i cannot imagine being in a house with people i don't know very well and then they behaving in a not so very good manner to you <laughs> because i have zero tolerance to nonsense i cannot tolerate nonsense i might even then slap that person and get out of the house if if that is the criteria so i know that this is going to happen so why unnecessarily go in and do that na uh but the i'll tell you one thing about this the amount of popularity shena gil shiddat shukla so, you, you have know, watched the last season one, season right episode, and one season that came in god knows how many years now you know i don't remember the right. last season of big boss which became this popular so it's not necessary right. or mandatory that following seasons will also be this famous it was you know right. luckily the people that were in the house that that time who kind of created interest you know or ye wala season agar aap dekho to in the beginning they all were very thanda i remember uh, <laughs> salman coming on every weekend to bar and saying ki yolo so thanda yolo so thanda yolo not really you know indirectly was saying ki yolo not really doing anything 
But then once they started, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a never ending. It was never ending. Oh, and that oh season. Like Salman was also practicing on and, and on. <laughs> On every weekend ka war, he was poor guy. Yeah. I don't know how he was keeping up cool. <laughs> all right, all right. So okay, we are done with the uh, generic Q and Q and A session. Now we have an interesting quiz for you. Okay, to these days, uh, our paparazzi are spotting lot of celebrity with the mask. Okay, now you have to guess the actor. I will give you a hint in case if you won't be able to answer. Wow. Okay, so I, I will share. I'll share the picture with you. Yes, I will going to share the picture with you. Okay. All right. So, can you guess this actor? I haven't got it. This is Karthik Aryan. Absolutely correct. <laughs> All right. This is Priyanka Chopra. How can you? How can you not great. remember? Great. <laughs> this is Sunny. Absolutely correct. <laughs> this is uh, Akshay Kumar, the prankster. <laughs> Absolutely. This is Janvi. Great. This is my favorite Karina, <laughs> adorable Temur, and that nanny's name I would not know. <laughs> <laughs> This is Varun Varun Dhawan. Yes. This is Mr. Anil Kapoor. Yes, absolutely correct. <laughs> this is Kiara. Oh my God, that's really well done. I mean, <laughs> what am I doing? What did? It, what are you going to send me for winning this? Ah, <laughs> uh, a lot of popularity <laughs> from Bollywood life. <laughs> <laughs> so virtuality, this is the only thing which can be possible. But uh, you know, we wish you all the very best for your upcoming Thank ventures. You. And Thank whether it is a small screen or big screen, we would love to see you. Thank and you. And we don't Thank even a single so opportunity. Would you like to give, uh, spread some message to your fans? Would you like to give some? Yes, I would first of all like to say thank you all of you for all love and support that you all keep showering on me. It's only because of the love and support of you guys that you know I am here uh, talking to you all and uh, still entertaining you all. So um, please uh, keep continuing the love and support and I will keep continuing doing the work that I'm doing for you. Lots of love. Thank you, Zarin Khan, uh, for your valuable time. Wish you all the thank very, you. very best for your upcoming venture. And thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye bye.